tank men goes the job of driving and fighting. To the Royal Canadian Electrical and Mechanical Engineers falls the task of recovering and repairing for future battles. When a tank becomes a casualty, the tank recovery section is notified. They dispatch an officer to plan its evacuation. A tank transporter is brought to the scene. This huge affair, loaded, weighs some 66 tons. The armored vehicle is then hauled away on the transporter. It is taken back to the workshops for a complete overhaul. On arriving at the RCEME workshops, the vehicle is completely dismembered. Where repairs are necessary, the mobile workshop is equipped to handle all types of work. The engine is given a thorough going over by fitters. The cylinders are rebored. Screw cutting lays are available for modifying or making any part needed for replacement. As important as the tank in action is the tank under repair. Every part is checked by experts. A portable smithy is used to forge implements in tool steel. A complete oxyacetylene plant handles the welding job. If an anti-tank shell pierces the armor, it is necessary to cut petaling from the hole and weld supporting armor plate over the gap. The Z lorry is a radio serviceman's dream come true. Delicate wireless sets are the eyes and ears of the battle wagon. Instrument mechanics use modern oscilloscopes and signal generators to maintain sets at a high state of sensitivity. The vulnerable tank threads are removed, checked, and replaced. All moving parts are lubricated and adjusted. The armament, from cannon to small arms, receives scrutiny from the armorers. Their fine adjustments keep the weapons deadly accurate. The lives of comrades depend on the efficiency of every mechanical part. The highly trained specialists of the RCEME work against time, often within range of enemy guns, to get the fighting juggernauts back into action. Not only do these men have to know their technical job, but they must know the business of soldiering also. They are as handy at using a Sten gun as they are at repairing it. The tank, which was knocked out by the enemy, is now as it originally came off the assembly line. It goes back to its unit to deliver more smashing blows at Jerry. 100% efficient. Like the Canadian Army, it is fighting fit and fit to fight.